What's going on everybody, Cole and Jay, back at it again at a new destination for another video. Today behind us you can see we are at a roadside ditch, and this ditch is not just an ordinary ditch. This spot is legendary in Northeast Arkansas, although nobody knows about it, it's top secret. So don't tell nobody where we're at. <laughs> Anyways, this spot is loaded with bass, spots, largies, and it's got catfish, gar, buffalo, drum, all sorts of types of sunfish. It's just loaded with all sorts of fish. And today Jessica and I are gonna bring you along with us as we try to catch some of these big bass. And we're really excited. We haven't been here in a long time and the water looks great. We already see bass swimming behind us, so it's, we already know it's gonna be a great day. And Jay is ready to catch a bill. Spotted oh, bass, yeah. aren't you? So ready. So we're gonna put this big camera up, strap you on with the GoPro right here, and uh, we're gonna take you along as you travel upstream in this ditch. Wish us luck. We're gonna try to catch a giant. We've already got eyes on several spots down there. Spotted bass, that is. There's a good one. And I'm just gonna pitch in from up here. Oh gosh. Oh, I didn't. Got him. First cat. Oh yeah, look at that, first pitch. It's a nice, chunky spotted bass. Shoot. <laughs> Little footballs. Yeah, hooked up, bigger spot. Whoop. There went my worm. Say sayonara to that one. That's number two. These, these fish are just otherworldly out here. You would not expect this in a drainage ditch up here in Northeast Arkansas. And these spots are just pristine and untouched and just super beautiful. True fighters of the stream. Toss this one back in. All right, now let's get in the water. <laughs> Fish. Good one. Is that a gar? I got a gar. I got a gar. Oh my gosh. I got a gar. Shoot. <laughs> it's alright. I got him. I'm just trying to make sure he doesn't like break my line. I don't think I have any more of these heads. I told you this ditch had everything. Shoot, he was like a rocket through my hands. Okay, he's off. He's off and I got my bait. Okay, we're good. A gar. And it's nice knowing though that even after fishing like this spot, if we don't do too well, we have those good spots up ahead of us. Got him? Good one. Oh, that's not a good one. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Or not a bad one. No, it's a spot. Nice spot. It's gonna be the biggest spot of the day, probably. Keep reeling. There's one behind him. There's a big one behind him. Big one right here. Big one. Eat it. Eat my bait. Eat my bait. That's a big, large mouth. Oh gosh, that's a spot. That's a large mouth. He's scared. Go ahead. Nice spot, Jay. Beautiful. Here, let's see. Woo, baby! That's a beautiful spot. He's not a huge one, but he's just so chunky, a little he football. So that large mouth behind him was twice as big. I know. He, I, I couldn't get my bait in front of him. But that's a nice fish. That's what we're here for, these spots. Thanks. So beautiful. Good job, Jay. They're in that shade line. That largemouth wanted some too. Okay. Let him go. Good job, Jay. I just swapped up to a little popper. That's a good start. <laughs> okay, he's got another one. No, little guy, is that a largey? No, a spot? spot? I want to see big boozy just blow up on this thing. Dang it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, gosh, he's fighting so hard. 
My drag's a little loose, I'd say. That's a nice fish. Right on cue, wanting Big Boozy to come blow up on this bait. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Got a largey? Yeah. Got to love it. Got to love that bullet pop. Got to love that Berkeley bullet pop. Oh. oh. There's a show school right here. Get him unplugged. It's my first largey of the day. Nice one. Jay is killing him on her little wacky rig worm. Oh, you spit my worm? <laughs> Maybe it'll float. <laughs> no, a largey. Okay, this is my first largey. Boom, shaka waka. <sighs> that hook almost got me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, See you later, bud. Oh, giant! Oh my gosh! Don't oh, stop! Oh my gosh! Woo, baby! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at the size of that large mouth. There's, there's your two pounder. <laughs> yeah, Jay. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's a good one there. That look how fat that fish is. Oh my goodness! There you go. Let's see him. That's what we came here for. That's a giant. A ditch giant. It ain't really a giant, but that's a ditch good one. I'm going to give this one the proper Jay Harkin release. Catch, kiss, release. Get on with your bad self. That was sick. He smoked it. I got a good one. I got a good one. Oh my goodness, yeah you do. <sighs> Stay on, baby. Oh yeah. Is that oh, a spot? It's a largey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my rod. <laughs> That's what we came here for. Ooh. That is a fat one. I tied on a shaky head. It has a little bit deeper. And uh, he was hanging out down there in the depths, wanting that little shaky head. That's my biggest of the day. That's like a over two pounder. He's so fat and so thick, he could be almost two and a half pounds. That's a heck of a fish. Super down with that. Now I'm gonna send you back. Oh, that's what we came down here for. <laughs> nice. Good one. Cast him pretty good. Mm -hmm. Huh? Huh? You got one? You got a big one? That's a good one. Do you smoke it? Yeah. Oh, something is smoking my back right now. Oh my gosh. That spot or a largey? No, a largey. Woo! We're in largey land right now. You're about to, you're about to fall in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a nice one. Yeah. Another nice largey. Gosh, the water is so deep. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to keep her reel. I do not want my reel to get wet. Another good fish. Oh, yeah. Hold them up. Okay, send them back. Bye, fishy.
That's a bass, it's a giant. I mean a catfish. That's a bass, it's a giant. That's a, oh my God, it's a bass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a bass. Oh, it's a big head. It's a big head. Get over here. Don't you, oh my gosh, look how thick that fish is, Jay. <laughs> Don't you come off. You mongrel, you giant beast of a oh ditch God. bass. Get in my hands, calm yourself, calm yourself, calm yourself. This fish is pulling so hard. Don't throw my bait. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Don't fall down, Cole. That fish is so fat. That fish is so fat. Get up from underneath my legs. That's a large mouth. Don't fall off, don't fall off. Don't come off. Yeah! That's a giant! You got my pole. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Look at the freaking head on this thing. The shoulders are insane. <laughs> Look at that, Jay. <laughs> it's a beast. That's a four pounder. Save the best spot for last. Okay, buddy. Go get even bigger. There's all sorts of food out here for you to get bigger. Do it for me. Oh, you're beautiful. Biggin, 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 biggin. Got him. Woo. And that is how I'm gonna end my day out here. I pitched it right underneath that sloppy stuff right there thinking there might be a bass under there and he came out and just slurped it down his throat. That is so awesome. Awesome two and a half pound largemouth out of this beautiful ditch right in the middle of the city limits. I'm gonna send him back. You ready to go, Jay? Let's go. What's up guys? It's the next day and now we just want to take a moment to share with y'all what we were throwing and why we were throwing it. Because we didn't feel like we shared that information with you in the video. Jay and I were throwing primarily wacky rigged finesse worms. The main one we were throwing was this Berkeley bottom hopper in the four and a half and the 4.75 and a 6.25 inch size just in green pumpkins and watermelons. Just whatever color I could grab. I had them all mixed up in the same bag so each color was great. And then towards the end of the day I actually picked up an old school lure. This is a bruised orange colored wave worm. Any of y'all still remember wave worms? This old package <laughs> you see at Walmart. These worms are, these worms were the bomb and they still are the bomb. They're hard to get a hold of because they really don't make them anymore. But you can find them on eBay sometimes and these guys are just super awesome on a little wacky rig. Yeah, as soon as you tied that on, you started catching the big ends. Yeah, that low light and that <laughs> orange color popping out. For some reason, bass just really key in on orange. It's like just a universal good bass color when you're fishing those creeks and rivers and ditches like that. Hold your worm again, Jay. So you can see um, Jay and I threw a lot of this uh, weighted wacky head and then I threw this also, just this standard just weedless, uh, wacky style hook. Um, I don't know the brand of this one here, but this is a Berkley Fusion hook. It's one of the sharpest hooks, one of the best hooks I've ever used. I really, really like it a lot, and I highly recommend the product. And um, I threw this weighted, this uh, weightless wacky head in some of the shallower water. That ditch is only like one and a half to two feet deep in some of those areas, mm -hmm. and you need that really slow, natural presentation. And when we got in a little bit deeper water, we threw the weighted head to get it down a little bit further to where those fish were at. As for like our main gear, our setups, Jay and I were both throwing um, seven foot two inch medium and medium heavy sized rods. Uh, this rod in particular is a favorite Phantom series spinning rod, it's a seven two, medium heavy. And it's spooled up with 10 pound braid and an eight pound 100% fluorocarbon leader. And it held up all day long. And if you've seen our latest video, where we went catfishing head to head. This is the same rod I was throwing in that video also. And uh, this rod is awesome. It holds up to the big fish. It's really sensitive and I highly recommend this rod also. And we will leave all the gear we use in the video down in the description below for you to check out. 
Anyways, we had a really, really great time down at the ditch. It's one of our favorite spots in Northeast Arkansas, and we caught a ton of fish. It was just, it was just doing it that day. We had a great, great, great time. But Cole caught the biggest because he dirty dogged me. This is what I wanted to throw, and he told me he didn't have any. It's not exactly what she said she wanted to throw. She said she wanted to throw a yum dinger, and I said I didn't have any yum dingers. And I don't she's have like, anything like that, Jay. Well, these are these are one of a kind. These are a lot more slender and a lot I know, more small. I know and they're a little different, but. These are throwbacks. These are classics, and I'm sorry, I'm kind of stingy with them. <laughs> JK, I let her use some at the end. Don't let her fool you and say I didn't let her use some. She got some at the end of the day in the same spot where I started jacking them on. Oh, whatever. But we're going to end the video right here. We really hope you enjoyed it. We're, we're Cole and Jay, Jay, and we will see you on the next video.